This is my audience, and y'all can be seated. Today, I'm going to be telling you the difference between LDL and HDL cholesterol. My goal today is to inform you about cholesterol. This subject should be important to everybody, no matter what the age. First, we need to understand what cholesterol is. Cholesterol is a soft, waxy substance found among the lipids or fats in your bloodstream and all your body cells. An example of this is in this book, and this is an example of a lipid or fat cell. Controlled cholesterol is a very important part of staying healthy. Many of us do not know the different levels or readings that make up our cholesterol. There are two types of cholesterol, the good and the bad. It is important to understand the difference and also know the levels of good and bad cholesterol in your blood. Too much of one and not enough of the other can put you at risk for coronary heart disease, heart attack, or a stroke. The information I'm about to tell you comes from the website www.heart.org and the American Heart Association. Cholesterol comes from two sources, your body and the food that you eat. Your liver and other cells in your body make up about 75% of the blood cholesterol and the other 25% comes from the food that you eat. First, HDL, known as the good cholesterol, which helps keep the LDL, known as the bad cholesterol, from getting lodged into your artery walls. A healthy level of HDL may also protect against heart attack or stroke, while low levels of HDL have been shown to increase the risk of heart attack. About one-fourth to one-third of blood cholesterol is carried by high-density lipoprotein. HDL is also considered the good cholesterol because it protects against heart attack. Low levels of HDL also increase the risk of heart attack. Medical experts think HDL tends to carry cholesterol away from the arteries and back to the liver where it is passed from the body. In this book, it shows this being your lipoprotein, how it is carried through the liver and back through your body. Some experts believe that HDL removes excess cholesterol from the arterial plaque slowing up buildup. Now for the bad cholesterol, medic medically known as LDL. When too much LDL cholesterol circulates in the blood, it can clog arteries, increasing the risk of heart attack or stroke. In this model, this is what your artery should look like. And this is what a clogged artery looks like. Also in this example, here is a normal artery. Here's a fatty streak, which shows just a little bit. A fibrosic plaque, which is a little bit of buildup and then it continues to clog. LDL cholesterol is produced naturally by the body and many people inherit genes from their mother, father, or even grandparents that cause them to produce much of their LDL cholesterol, which circulates into the blood. It can slowly build up in your inner walls of the arteries that feed the heart and the brain. Together with other substances, it can form plaque, a thick, hard deposit that can narrow arteries and make them less flexible. If a clot forms and blocks a narrowed artery, a heart attack or stroke can result. Everyone needs to have their cholesterol checked. You can do this by going to your doctor and having blood work done, and they can check for cholesterol along with many other things. Once the results have returned, you and your doctor can discuss your levels and your doctor can determine what you do, if anything. If your cholesterol levels are high, there are many things you can do to get them under control and maintain a long and healthy life. 
Um, there are many uh, websites that you can research cholesterol on along with talking to your doctor and I need to um, thank Cheryl Wooten, a health teacher at the high school I work at for my displays. Thank you.